Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to send and receive text messages from your Mac computer with an Android phone. Okay, so basically a lot of you guys know about iMessage, which is uh, if you have an iOS device, you can send and receive messages from iOS users. Well, with this little tip today, I'm going to show you how to basically use your Mac, but you're going to be able to text back and forth on your Android uh, phone. So you'll be able to see your messages and send them all from the computer. To do this, we're going to have to go to the Play Store and we're going to download this app, which is called Mighty Text. So in the search box, type in Mighty Text and this app will come up. SMS text messaging from PC. So go ahead and hit install. Give it a couple of seconds here. This is sort of a workaround because this app actually isn't made to work on Mac, but I have found a way to make it work, and boy, is it beautiful. All right, so we're going to hit open here and hit OK. Allow, allow, allow. And then what it's going to do is it's going to link your the Gmail account you have on that phone with um, your phone number. So we're going to hit complete setup. And now it says the final step is on your computer, go to mightytext.net slash app. So um, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the computer and then we'll follow that step. Hey guys, so all right, now we're on our Mac here. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, go to google.com and you may already be signed into your Gmail, but if you're not, uh, upper right corner, go to sign in and we're just going to um, go ahead and sign into this account. Just H2 Genesis. Okay. And once you sign in, then we're going to go to the, the website that's on the app, which is mightytext.net slash app. Go ahead and search that. And then, bada bing, bada boom. We're going to be signed into this interface right here. And let me show you the little tutorial here. So if you want to send a message, just hit new message. And then this is where you type in the phone number and the message here. Hit send. And there it is. So that little sound you hear is, is the message ringing on the phone. Okay, and then you can text back. Yay! So excited. Okay, and then jump to the next step here. So this is your list of text messages that are going to show up. And again, this will link with all just about all your messages from your phone up to. You can set how far back you want to go with messages, but it'll get. All your messages and a good amount of the conversations so you can go back and it also links with your contacts as well so you can just easily type in people you want to uh, message if, if you haven't already sent them a message uh, let's hit here you have this cool little pop-up that'll pop up in the corner of the screen so you can actually see if someone sent you a message you can turn this on um, um I don't always turn it on because if you haven't sent if you have a lot of messages that have gone through you haven't looked at, then like when you open it up on the computer, it's a whole bunch of stuff. So maybe try it out. If you don't like it, you can turn it off, but I'm going to skip that step for now. And this is the last cool thing. It actually will show you uh, your phone and what the battery percentage is. So you know if your phone is dead or, you know, if it's just really low or high or just it's a good FYI. And we'll end the tour. And this is the interface right here. So really basic. And again, um, you just hit new. You can begin to type in either the phone number directly or you could type in the name and it will, um, for the most part, it's pretty good about uh, being able to pull your contacts and being able to find, uh, find them and add them as well. So you can also attach pictures, GIFs, you got uh, emojis here. You can even set a scheduled message to send later as well so uh, but you guys are fully set up this is the last step and now you can uh, send and receive text messages uh, on your Mac but with your Android phone
So, I hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you found it helpful. And make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos. And as always, have a good one.